Woohoo! Russian roulette is back on Roblox and wait, what is this? It's not called Russian roulette? What's up? Buckshot Roulette, according to my showrunner, who's myself, is a game that was released on December 28th, 2023 on itch.io. It's a game in which you play a modified version of Russian Roulette with a strange dealer who took a page off of Helper's book from a stereotypical lobby by using a shotgun to play the game. The main goal of the game is to not die and win three rounds against the dealer to receive your prize, which is a lot of money. A lot of people have covered it, but today we're not covering the actual game. Oh good heavens no, this is a Roblox channel. We're going to be covering the Roblox clones that are spawned from it. So for this, I want to cover one that has a single player experience experience like buckshot and the other one that is a multiplayer experience so without further ado let's get started plunge roulette is a buckshot roulette clone where you are a plumber who decides to turn bounty hunter only to be met with gary an eccentric dynamite collector who decides that he's tired of having a bunch of dynamite and wants to get rid of them but considering that he can't bring into the atf without them asking questions he decides to make a game about it our character catches him in the right moment though with him wanting us to play a game with him for one last time before he goes out as he lived committing vast amount of crimes with explosives from here the game is literally just russian roulette except with plungers to have an excuse to skirt roblox's rules of displaying russian roulette while still breaking the rule of self-harm considering that you can blow yourself up it's a good game with similar effects to the original buckshot and it is really fun as it can be pretty intense given that while it uses the same items as buckshot it also sort of separates itself as you are limited on the number of times you can have the opponent take the plunger hit. This is mutual as the opponent is also limited on the number of times that they can redirect their plunger. So so yeah, anytime you want to redirect the uh, hit to be against your opponent, you are very you have to use it very sparingly and with assertion that you are going to have them be blown up. Also, if you get a blank, the turn goes to the opponent. You don't just keep going like in Buckshot, where if you pull a blank, it's still your turn. Another thing about this is that because you're limited on it if you actually run out you have to rely on you basically pulling your own plunger and hoping that you don't get blown up which is definitely more intense because even they have to do the exact same thing which means that you could have a strategy wherein both of you waste all of yours so that way eventually if you get one of the different patterns which one of them could be one blank and one live you can just pull the blank and then have him forcefully pull the pull the live blowing himself up even when he knows that it is a live round this definitely makes a lot of the rounds more strategy based and this new mechanic of limited limited switches really forces both you and the opponent to use them like i said very sparingly or else you're going to die <laughs> post beating gary you collect his bounty dead because taking several dynamite explosives to the face doesn't leave you well alive and this is where things get interesting as there is actually a second opponent you can beat known as officer smiley this level with officer smiley follows the player after successfully cleaning someone's pipes and getting paid for it getting stopped by the officer to play a game of roulette against him to fuel his crippling gambling addiction because i think he took it too literally when people say 98 percent of gamblers quit before their big win and guess guy clearly is the two percent here it's basically the same except for the fact that midway through upon reaching the second round he actually shoots away your items because they are resisting no joke that this this is his excuse that mechanic makes the game pretty fun as no item you get will pretty much stay and it is likely that if you get a useful tool such as a magnifying glass cups or god forbid a hammer you don't really, you shouldn't expect to use it. Upon reaching the third stage, it turns out that he was wearing a mask and he is the wanted crippling gambling addict, Officer Smiley. Very different from the normal crippling gambling offer, uh, addict, Officer Smiley. So turning back to your bounty hunter side hustle, we decide to end him in the back alleyways once and for all. From that, we get $4.5 million before we successfully head out in our car off to do some more repairs wherever they may be to be honest the game is pretty damn well made and while it's not long having built well, considering that i played both levels and failed at one it took me like 30 minutes it definitely is just buckshot but with a better twist i like the idea that it skirts tos by using plungers as i mentioned considering that roblox does not use 
does not really like the depiction of a gun being pointed at yourself, despite the fact that it now has 17 and up stuff, so I don't know why they wouldn't allow it. But regardless, I like it. The limitation, like I stated, is pretty fun, and I really do like that there is a second level, and the second level is much better than the tutorial. <laughs> Due to it having a better, uh, more enhanced difficulty, which requires way more strategy, given that, you know, the guy can shoot like zero to three items off of your table. So you're kind of screwed, even if you get four. You basically get a guarantee that you will get one item, but because he shoots things randomly, you don't really ever know what will be the item that remains. Kind of forces you to always change strategy, and like I stated, you can't really rely on something being there so if you need a very important item you can't really rely on that existing if he shoots it <laughs> one thing i will say as a downside and this is also kind of a downside to buckshot there isn't much content but one good thing about this one uh, one good thing about plunger roulette is that there is expected to be way more and i'm very very excited for it because it's a pretty good clone of buckshot and it's also trying to make its own identity with its, with its story and i kind of want to see where that story goes also it calls itself a horror game and uh, i don't think it's really a horror game but you do you i guess Bookshot Showdown is a multiplayer version of Bookshot Roulette, which is enough said. It's mainly done for when you, you've got a score to settle with a friend, but you don't have a lot of skill to beat them in a game, so you resort to pure chance. This game has no big differences besides the fact that the dealer isn't yourself, but two hands in the void that just holds the gun instead of either of you. Here, every item is randomized, which can lead to moments where you can get literally four of one thing. I've seen somebody get four medicine bottles in one, one go, so it's possible and it's pretty annoying but it's also pretty funny the game doesn't have much beyond that but it's just a fun version of buckshot that allows multiplayer which i think is definitely something that i wish the original game had in some way i don't know what exactly they're doing for the for og buckshot whether or not they might introduce it considering that it is on itch.io i don't think it's inherently possible but who knows but I really do, I, I do think that a lot of people that played Buckshot Showdown and Untitled Buckshot or, or any other real Buckshot Roulette clone that involves multiplayer is mainly doing it because they like Buckshot or Russian Roulette and want a multiplayer version that either doesn't get taken down or does not cost a dollar twenty. So I think it's better than at least this version of Buckshot. I think Buckshot Showdown is better than most Buckshot Roulette clones that it's just multiplayer it's also just not that different from them from what i know they also give you money and apparently you can't use that money for now so just like in buckshot you can't really use the money sad but true buckshot roulette uh has allowed russian roulette to come back to roblox and i'm honestly all here for it as i covered in my russian roulette video this is a genre of games that'll just keep coming back no matter what Roblox does against it. So having a version of it that barely skirts Roblox TOS is pretty nice. I like Buckshot and I like these clones as I think they're pretty good when compared to others. But one thing I can't see happening with them is that if they don't create an identity for themselves, they will struggle with remaining popular when Buckshot Roulette begins to lose some of its heat. Beyond that though, I'd recommend these two with friends or alone and for just having fun and if you can afford it uh the one dollar twenty you can definitely play buckshot but you know that costs money but yeah whether or not you want to just play buckshot a buckshot clone or just play with friends these two games are probably one of the best to play especially plunger roulette you can definitely uh i can definitely you can definitely tell which one i really liked more in this game in this video but don't worry uh i really did like Sh buckshot showdown I was able to fight uh, a lot of people, like the creator of uh, a stereotypical lobby. I lost, and then I won. Take that, Razor. I hope you did enjoy <laughs> any. Uh, I hope you did enjoy this video. That that was the conclusion. I, I beat Razor, so I'm proud of myself for that one. I beat James too. Shout out to my boy James. And uh, yeah, I hope you did enjoy. Any questions, comments, concerns? Do consider leaving them in the comment section down below. Like and subscribe. And until then, hopefully I get out of the back rooms. I'm still stuck in here. This background, it's uh, it's, it's not even real. It's, it's just not. <laughs> Please help me.